Are you done? Moving our trash out of the frame. All right. Got to limber up the lungs. Well, that was supposed to be secretive. Wow. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's Monday Dread Bag, everyone. Okay. We're back and better than ever. I'm gonna just let you rein it in. I got it all out. Bring it in a little bit. I'm gonna go close that door. Wow, wow, wow. I'm loosening up my lungs. Oh, okay. Ha! Uh, I wonder how much of this she's gonna cut out in the edit. Probably all of it. I'm gonna try to cut out all of it. All right. Monday Dread Bag. Monday Grub Bag. The Weekly Series, where we answer all of your most... Monday Grub Bag. The Weekly Series, where we answer all of your most burning questions. Yeah, I think we missed last week, though. We did. We were on so. the road. We Whoops. Were just put our heads down. Pretend. Be no. sad. If we can't see them, they can't see us. Oh, boy. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Alright. Here we go. And in the camera, it looks pretty fine. It's a little crooked. Okay. Just jumping right in. Pretend that you're looking at us, but yeah. your head's a little Aww. sad. <laughs> jumping right in. How do you decide what content gets left in an edit? That's ironic. Do you both have a veto vote if you want something left out of the final video? I would say Hannah, Hannah gets the final word. I, I, yes, like. However, if either of us ever has said, I don't want that in the video, it doesn't get in the video. Oh, uh, true, yeah. You know, yeah. it's not like we, if, if Shane is like, I don't want that in, I'm not going to be like, no, I want it in and yeah. like fight about it. It's like, absolutely, if someone says they don't want it in, it doesn't really matter what the other person thinks. The most often, like, disagreement that we have here is I say, I think that should stay in. Yeah. And Hannah says, no, that's inappropriate. Yeah. Or whatever. And... I have to eventually say, okay, Yeah. it's probably inappropriate. Yeah. She keeps me from, like, going to prison. Yeah. I keep you from ruining everything that we have. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think normally we're pretty on the same... <clears throat> Sorry. We don't cut a lot of stuff. No. You know? And, and also, like, when we're not talking about inappropriate things, Hannah has a really good eye for, like, what? Like works. weird pauses yeah. and stuff like so that. So it's not like I'm ever like, no, do it differently. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Aww. Shane picked these questions before and I haven't seen them. So I noticed you were wearing a Mamas and the Papa shirt. What is your favorite music genre, artist, or group? <laughs> Hannah loves the Mamas and the Papa. I love the Mamas and the Papa. As do I because of Hannah. Yes, I introduced them to Shane. What's your favorite like genre, would you say? Probably like Probably pop. Yeah, poppy. Yeah. Alternative pop, maybe. Maybe. Like, yeah. That's from your influence, though. Because yeah. Shane's music preference, I think, is more alternative, and we meet in the middle with, like, an alternative pop. <laughs> like, I've gotten Hannah to listen to some, like, emo, streamo songs, mm -hmm. and she likes them. Yeah, there's a couple that I like. It took six years, <laughs> but I got her there. <laughs> and Shane listens to a lot of regular, like, stuff popular on the radio, yeah. radio stuff because of me. Yeah. And jazz. And jazz. Jazz is my jazz radio. Is Shane's. My radio calm music. Yeah. I pick my nails when I'm stressed. I hate that habit so much. What are, what are your bad habits you wish were gone? I bite my cuticles, so I can relate to picking at your nails. That's a horrible habit <laughs> that I wish was gone. Your mom does that too. Yeah. Whenever you're both like sitting somewhere together, yeah. like watching a TV or something, yeah, that's what we you'll do just it. hear, Hannah, stop writing. Mom, stop writing. <laughs> Hannah, stop writing. <laughs> <laughs> that's so true. Let's see, do I have a bad habit? Uh-huh, I'm sure what are my we bad think of one. I procrastinate a lot on like things that wouldn't take me very long. Uh, oh, I have a good bad habit. Um, we made a joke video about this recently, but I don't remember faces very well. That isn't a habit. That's like a brain condition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to tell it a bad habit. I have a bad habit of saying nice to meet you to people that I've already met. Yes. Often like people I've met more than one time. Yeah. It's awful. And I'll be like, shit, you met them. You met them. 
Yeah, so now if we're approaching someone, I'll be like, you know this person? We've already met because I don't want it to come out. But now Shane has been working on just saying nice to see you uh -huh. so that he can cover his bases. He does not remember people's faces no, ever. I'm not so good at it. Yeah. It's a problem. I'm working on but it. But that's really not a habit. <laughs> All right. How do you handle bathroom issues uh, for Shane, for yourself, Shane, when in public places? Typically, I just don't go to the bathroom when I'm out in public. Yeah. So to pee, I have to like lay down um, to use my travel urinal that I keep in my book bag. Yeah. Finding a spot to lay me down is often very difficult. So I go in the most outings with the understanding that I probably won't use the bathroom. Mm -hmm. We have had a few times when an emergency happens and I can't hold it. Uh, and Hannah will either lay me on the floor mm -hmm. of a public bathroom, uh, in the back of the car that we've used before. Yeah. Um, I've, I've gone to the bathroom in a variety of like interesting places. I know, places. weird places. <laughs> but I will say that Shane has almost no stomach issues. Yeah. Like, he, lucky for him, just like nothing at all. <clears throat> Uh, so that happens very, very rarely. In fact, that's never happened in public. That's never happened. It's more just like we you've gone in public when we're like, we're going to be out for 12 hours. You're yeah. going to have to pee at some point. It's yeah. never really like a emergency, like, what do we do? What do we do? Yeah. I wish more public bathrooms had, like, adult-sized yeah. changing tables. Um, that makes life way easier. Yeah. Do you think the two of you would be compatible if Shane didn't have SMA? We made a whole video about this. We did. That was called, like, would would we still be together if Shane wasn't disabled? Yeah. What was it called that? I don't remember. What was the verdict? Yes. The verdict was yes. Assuming that I wasn't, like, a drastically different person. That's the thing. You do, you definitely would be. So who knows? Really? I know. Like, would you still be amazing at communicating? Maybe not. Probably not. Maybe you'd be sealed up like a clam. Would I still be funny? Who knows? Maybe not. Maybe you'd be unfunny. I would never have had a reason to develop a sense of humor. That's true. Only disabled people Only are disabled funny. Only disabled people are funny. <clears throat> it's amazing. So yeah, who knows? But if, if it was like right now, you know, if we were the same people and you just didn't have SMA, then yeah. Yeah. It's not that you're attracted to the fact that, that you have I SMA. have SMA. Yeah, nothing else <laughs> matters. It's literally like, just well, that. Well, if I can't do Terry Divin, then, then I'm out. Why am I in this? <laughs> <laughs> I sent Shane two swim trunks with a boxer liner because of your exposure story. LOL, if you know, you know. I hope they fit. And then signed Boxy. Yeah, I just threw that in there because yeah. we received the package in our PO the other day. Yep. And there were bathing suits in it. And I was like... And it didn't have, you know, who it was from. It was straight from the yeah. company. And I loved them. And they fit me. Yep. And they conceal me. They're longer. Uh, and so thank you, Boxy. Yes. For sending those. I love them. Yeah, that was so nice. Uh, I was wondering if Shane types with his hands or does he primarily use talk to text? I know he does a lot of writing and work on the laptop. Was just wondering how he did that most efficiently. I'm showing you right now. I type with my thumbs. Here. Okay. On my phone. Yep. So I CD. use, well, you can tell them while I demonstrate. He uses a keyboard on his phone, like how, you know, you type on your phone, and it connects to his laptop so he can type on his laptop. It's also a mouse, so he can control his whole laptop yep. with just his phone. The, per, or the app is called Wi-Fi Mouse. Yep. It's been life-changing, yeah. and I mean that. Like, when I lost the ability to type on a regular Laptop, I, it was like at the beginning of my writing career, wonderful timing, and this app allowed me to continue writing at the pace that I yeah. wanted to. I don't use voice to text. It never understands me very efficiently, mm -hmm. so I spend more time correcting what it miswrites. Yeah. All right, what was your worst restaurant you visited while on your road trips? <laughs> Do you have an answer for this, like off the top of your head? I I don't have a worst restaurant because, I don't know, like, I don't want to be like, next restaurant sucks. I just can't even but, think. But when we were, like, on our way 
to the speaking tour and I got sick on the way and I ate we ate at a Ruby Tuesday uh -huh. and I had the worst sore throat and it was the worst salmon dinner that I've ever ordered and I was like choking it down oh my God. Like, with a sore throat in like a dirty Ruby Tuesday. I remember just being like, oh, I'm not happy. I don't even <laughs> remember that. That was a, must have been a long time ago. It was in like Nebraska yeah. or something. Huh. I don't remember that. What's your do? Well, maybe the, the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> that was delicious. Yeah, but I had a horrible stomach problem. But that was. This is about the worst restaurant. That was a delicious, delicious meal <laughs> in Paris. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Um. Well, there's that one time when we went to a diner that we visited a bunch of times on our road trip from Minnesota to PA, oh, yeah. and the waitress at the end, Shane, asked for the check while I was in the bathroom. And when I came back, she came over without the check and asked me, like whispered in my ear, she was like, he asked for the check, is that okay with you? Uh, so I think that was probably the worst restaurant. The food was great, but we never went back because we were like, oh, that was really rude. We, before we get to any restaurant, we usually really research it, like the menu and the vibe. Yeah. So we don't often go places where we're then surprised by it being bad. Yeah. Often we're like, this is amazing. Yeah. Um, but sometimes the people are not very yeah. polite, and then <laughs> that can lead to the worst that, restaurant experience. I can ruin it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but no, we generally enjoy our, our meals out. Yeah. All right, everyone. That was all our questions. That was Monday Dirt Bag. Put your questions below, and maybe yours will be featured in next week's video. Well, I was going to say, next week we're on the road again, so I wonder if we'll get a question video uh, up. I bet we will. I bet we'll try. We're gonna. All right. I vow. <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> Happy today, everyone. Bye.